I'm not. I'm really not feeling it. I'm really not feeling it. Let's just let's just throw a watcher run for the hell of it. Uh, 100 gold, early shop. Only two elites. Hexaghost. We always either draw Vigilance or two strikes. Easy kill, easy skip. Rush down. And this character is very dumb. Um, that. And here. And another removal. Eruption. Of course, it's always sentries, because why would it not be sentries? Just literally could never not be sentries, apparently. How do you always get infinite decks on Watcher? Well, the secret is that every deck is just infinite on Watcher. Any wins today? No, not a single one. We, uh, we're clicking. We are definitely clicking hard. But that's okay. Clicking is fine. Some days you just have to click. Um, nice gremlin horn after the sentries. That's super cool. It is pretty nice for advanced hallways, though. Strength pot for Hexa. Um, doesn't matter. Anchor's great. Ah, yes, Gremlin Horn. Ah, no, this turn though. That did not make it much better. Oh my god. Um, is it... Is it time for a strike now? Uh, no. No, it's not.
I think every single event that we've gone to so far has been a remove, right? This was a remove, this was a remove, and this was a remove. Yeah, we... We are very, very ahead on removals here. Why are you making every Watcher run look the same? Well, see, that's the secret. Every Watcher run is the same. Scissors? Probably not. Probably not. Don't even need them. Mm, I mean, they're they're good, but like whatever. Um, 48 plus 18. Cool. We win. Awesome. Um, energy potion? No. Okay. Gentleman is attempting to crit me. He's gonna land a critical hit. Ow. That hurt. Alright, well, I tried to throw the Watcher run. I really did try my best, but, um... Fate intervened. Yes. Yeah, the win rate win rate record is 94% over 50 games. But it was only 50 games. Here we go again, indeed. I apologize to everyone for what is surely a very thrilling experience. Yeah. Yeah, 47 and 3 is gonna be really, really tough to beat. Why not just kill all? I don't know. Uh. P Box or Pyramid? Um. I mean, Pyramid is not really gonna be relevant. Let's just go P Box. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, sure, sure game. That's, that's, that's just great. That's, that's just wonderful. Um, all right, we do need to try to not die here immediately. I guess Anchor will help with that, right? Would have been nice to get like one useful card from uh you know. The Pandora's box. Just just one useful card. Um 
Power potion's pretty garbage. I'll take the fruit juice over the power pot. Should have removed Vigilance for a P-Box value. No, Vigilance is, uh... Vigilance is a card here. It's actually allowing us to block in. Membership card. Um... Um, ink bottle would have been very nice, I guess, but I don't know. It's not necessary or anything. Let's just move on. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go to shops and look for Mental Fortress, basically. Uh oh, this guy. some fresh costs. Um, Interesting. Please, sir, I have a family. Oh, God. Not malleable. Anything but malleable. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Get out of here. Uh, this thing is unnecessary. Um, yeah, we're very bad against slavers, so let's not get slavered here. Um, probably this one, just because it's our only block card. Didn't break it. But resting is safe for now. Probably don't want to go to this elite, but okay, Centennial Puzzle's great. That's not Mental Fortress. Um, this stuff also sucks. We do want to remove, though. Um...
What's our spiker solution? Um, I guess we have, like, Vigilance. But yeah, spikers could legitimately be scary. What's up, prankster? We don't need that garbage. Uh, the Abacus. That solves our block. Yes, this deck is totally missing a flurry of blows. Why, why didn't I think of that? And Abacus. Yeah, that's, that's a bannable offense. We haven't seen Cage yet, right? Oh man, if we see Cage here, we could uh, we could have back-to-back -back four card wins. Uh, this one. No, not quite, huh? Uh, this is definitely a kill-all moment. Uh, none of these. Uh, this thing is maybe better than... Eh, whatever. Um, sure. Oh, we are speedrunning to the maximum here. We have to kill this dude. Ooh, Nemesis could be a bit scary, actually. Mm. I guess we'll look for Nemesis solutions here. Don't need it. Yeah, if we get one more remove, um, we can go infinite on turn one with the right draws. Do we get any shops in this act? Oh, we don't, that's very sad. Also, not. Wait. Yeah, we're not falling proof either. This, there is definitely some uh, potential risk of ruin here. Things can go, can go horribly wrong, and if they do, then we will cry. But it's not very likely that things go horribly wrong, although it is technically possible. Uh, we need... We need inner peace to draw more, maybe? Yeah, we need inner piece to draw more. We need that inner piece upgraded. 
piece upgraded and then we can go infinite on turn one I actually am kind of hoping for the falling event I'm just hoping that we don't get uh, completely screwed by it the abacus that's what V is in this con uh, in this context uh, two pot uh, no uh, I don't know what I would be looking for here. Um, I guess technically, like, Master of Strategy is, is positive, but I don't want to add cards to the deck. I'm not even gonna look. Um, okay, this is pretty sad. Um, we upgrade this one. And we hope that this isn't Nemesis. And we hope that we're not getting burned on turn one. Okay, we didn't get burned on turn one. And even if we did, we're infinite turn one now. And the great thing about the inner piece infinite is that it's not actually reliant on your opponent attacking you, which is quite nice um, for the Nemesis fight specifically. If you need to kill on turn one and you know, the reason you need to get uh, a kill on turn one is because of burns, right? And if you can't get that kill on turn one because of burns, um, because you have Fear No Evil and he's not attacking, then that's a problem, right? Recall. Speed runs with only eight cards. What happened? Uh, just Watcher. Just Watcher happened. I can go over it at the end if you'd like. But really, like, nothing super remarkable happened. Just, uh, pretty typical Watcher stuff. Um... We just, actually no, that's not entirely true. We did have something pretty remarkable happen, which is that we, um, we saw Rushdown in an early store. We saw Inner Peace, like, at the end of Act 1. So we saw, like, the components of the infinite both in Act 1. And we also went to, like, our first three events in Act 1 were all removal events. <sighs> which is very unlikely to happen. Sounds like seated. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's not, but. We did get. I mean, it, it was a pretty good seed for the infinite. Um, okay, perfect. Okay. Right. Um, well. Yeah. Guess we're taking damage here. Alright, I'm just gonna use kill all on this guy, because there's no way that I'm taking the time to do that garbage. Same thing here, definitely a kill all moment. Um, we do have to unfortunately take some damage. Actually, very scary, but it's not. I 
I just use the console command because it would take way too long to actually kill the opponent, and it's incredibly trivial. You're just playing the same two cards over and over again, so, you know, it's like, I mean, I, I could even do it here and it would be completely acceptable. I really hope we don't have to deal with Time Eater, because Time Eater... Time Eater would just be very annoying. But Windmill Strike solves Time Eater. Any ethical gamers? We're not going to use kill all here because we need to game ethically. The cultists don't deserve death. Yeah, the heart, but like, you know, the heart's pretty trivial. We, we saved the Sacred Vark Strength Potion for, um, Time Eater, and that plus the Windmill Strike, um, should be enough. We will take some damage, and we might even need to deploy the Weak Potion in the fight, um, but we're never gonna die. Hopefully we don't have to fight the face Time Eater, though, because that would just be... Annoying and yeah, mostly just annoying to be honest. Good job, good job, Pocket Watch. Just uh, you know, really doing the Lord's work there, Pocket Watch. I get it. I get it. I'm sorry that you have to be subjected to the torture that is this run. I apologize deeply for what is surely a just an awful experience. This is this is peak. Peak Slay the Spire gameplay, okay? Please give Shuriken. Yeah, Shuriken would be nice. We can use Kill All on the heart. Although, technically speaking, we're still gonna have to block, and that takes a while. <sighs> hmm. Goodbye. Alright, not Time Eater, please. Okay, thank you. Not that we would have lost to Time Eater, okay? Alright, I'm, I'm gonna kill all here. Goodbye. Not that we would have lost to Time Eater. Entire deck is upgraded. Um... We could take another strength potion. I do like the weakness potion though. Um yeah, I guess meditate. 
<sighs> Meditate sucks now. Um, technically, Vault is, like, good or whatever, but Vault is a card. So, you know. Let's not and say we did. Pendib speeds us up a bit. Kunai slows us down, actually. Alright. Cool relic acquisition at the end there. Did you use P-Box Glitch? No. Did not use P-Box Glitch. No glitches were used in this run. Took the P-Box and removed everything, yeah. Except for this Windmill Strike. Unfortunately, we were unable to get a single shop in Act 3. If we, if we were able to get even one shop in Act 3, this would have been uh, a five-card deck. And... Um, if we got a little bit lucky, we might have been able to make this a four-card deck. Modded character, yeah, it's true. Watcher is a modded character. Alright, who cares? Horn Cleat is fine. Oh, we're actually not going to be able to... Well, we can just do this. Just trigger the pocket watch. Easy pocket watch utilization. gonna do the thing. Cool. Did not set up Pendib Riot. Oh yeah, that's, that's my bad actually. Alright, I'm, I'm not even gonna bother. We all understand and acknowledge what is happening here. Thirty-four minute run. Obviously, would have taken a lot 